Hi there. If you are new to cryptocurrency, would you like to speed up your crypto knowledge drastically within a day? Understand the dynamics among thousands of cryptocurrencies at once and interact with several blockchains too? Why not do a live session with me? Let's tackle all, all your questions and share all the resources you'll need to speed up your journey rather than spend ages sourcing out scattered information over the web complicatedly. Visit everyanyone.us to learn more. Dot us to learn more. If you're a crypto learner, it is time to build a crypto project. Learn the unconventional details about crypto and blockchain that empowers you in building surpassing Google level projects that people desire to back. Learn more on everyone, every anyone Dutch US. You're welcome. Hi, my name is Ter. Welcome to Uluggers TV. Thank you for being here. In this video, we're going to be looking at a publication by a user on Twitter called Infi. Kindly follow this user. And uh, according to him, he made $15,000 doing a B-trade for cryptocurrencies in May. And uh, we're going to be analyzing this publication to see if there is any tangibility to it to add suggestions as needed. Uh, and just to draw inspiration from from it as well as to identify a trend in crypto or an industry of crypto worthy of exploration and evolution so yes like you said it doesn't need to have you don't need to have a 200 IQ sometimes you just need grind greet and <laughs> a bit of a measure of research you know I know of the existence of this possibilities many people do this with bots uh, extracting maximum value from chains especially with cross chains uh, there are so much of this opportunity available uh, so anyone can do this and this uh, publication simplifies matters so take note as we go down that he doesn't have a 200 IQ or advanced knowledge and neither does he have complicate, complicated paid tools so it's likely he's doing this manually and you can as well uh, if cross chain you'll need to know bridges how to make use of the bridges and you also need to be good with calculating because you have to factor in the bridging cost and all that but let's go so he's your guy if you want to take advantage of arbitrage opportunities in cryptocurrency out of the dexes i believe so uh, this is the outline, identifying opportunities, calculating spreads, swap and bridge, walk through example trades. Ready to learn? Let's go. So these opportunities always exist. There are so many EVM chains, so many cryptocurrencies. <laughs> so they, they always exist. You know, your edge is in how much, you know, time and research you spend and maybe in your capital as well so here we're looking for price mismatches in money markets this can occur cross chain same chain centralized exchange versus decentralized exchange so let me break this down a bit cross chain is simple so one cryptocurrency can occur in various in different variants so it can occur on the ethereum chain so let's say you have a uh, usdc oh no usdc is a stable coin ethereum ethereum can exist on the ethereum chain and also on the binance smart chain there may be a price difference if you compare prices on either chain however they are not on the same chain so you will need to bridge buy cheap on one chain then bridge over to the other chain to sell there now same chain is when you are talking of difference in price on the same chain so Ethereum on Ethereum on one DEX on Ethereum versus another DEX on Ethereum. So there are many DEXs on Ethereum, Uniswap, SushiSwap, and all that. They may have different prices. Centralized exchange versus decentralized exchange. This also always exists. A disparity in price, it may be minimal, but yes. So you find a disparity in price where 
the price is cheap on cheaper slightly cheaper on a decentralized exchange you buy there and sell at a higher price on decentralized exchange so now let's focus on cross-chain arbitrage so in this uh, case study he's going to be focusing on cross-chain I think it holds the most opportunity you know because okay let's go so using a charting tool like dex screener search for a token that is trading across multiple chains with different liquidity amounts so it's referring to this tool you can look at it it has maybe more features more customization and features than uh dex tools so i've seen people using this so i will have to explore this as well i've never really used this tool much so but out of this you can look at maybe out of a no no i'll look at that later but let's use his own screenshot for this so basically he's trying to compare uh the same cryptocurrency uh, out of different chains and he's looking at the liquidity uh because the smaller liquidity allows you for allows for more price impacts so so it's looking at ust uh, no no is it ust i think he's looking at ust on three chains matic avax avalanche and bsc so different liquidity we need to pay attention at this stage so basically search for a token that is trading across multiple chains with different liquidity amounts hmm. okay identifying opportunity price ma mismatch look for potential arbitrary arbitrage when price mismatch happens i picked so i don't know if he's expanding on this maybe he's not expanding on this but this is one you look at coins we'll come back to this or you'll have to analyze this later on here look for potential arbitrage when price mismatch happens i picked extreme examples to demonstrate the point notice that the price on bsc at this time point is 0 0.03 versus polygon where the price is uh 0 0.04 So I don't know which coin is being referenced here. But this is referencing one a coin but on different chains. Polygon versus BSC and there's a price mismatch. Okay, let's go down. Calculating spread. So you have identified an opportunity, but is it worth it? Let's calculate the spread. Binance Smart Chain buy price 0.033. Three. Polygon sell price 0 0.04. Uh, sell by. Let's skip this. Okay, so the spread here is 30%, and he said this spread is extremely rare. Yes, and sometimes you need to be wary of the type of coin involved you know sometimes you may not be able to sell it on the other you have to do test transactions except the coins are established coins and you see you know trades ongoing so okay let's continue quick trade walkthrough we have identified price mismatch large spread trade with four steps buy on bsc with finance firebird bridge bsc to polygon with this bridge sell on polygon with finance fire bridge bridge usdc back to bsc with multi-chain so i know all the steps uh, it's very simple but i think the token he was trying to highlight is usd no 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 the this is as a result of the sell 
the sell was for USDC. I don't know the token is trying to. Okay, so I think it's UST. So he's maintaining the narrative starting here. Okay, so the token in question is UST, and uh, he found a looking at. Uh, the price out of P BSC and Polygon he found a widespread and took advantage of that so the token in question is USD I don't know if this is a stable coin you know but for there to be that much spread on a stable coin that's something although in crypto anything can happen so you just need to be constant with your research Oh, so wormhole. So this is looking like. Oh, this is possible. This is possible. This is a. Uh, so this is a Terra coin. I mean, uh, I don't even understand. I, I need to do further research on that. But you don't have to focus too much on the coin in question you know there are many coins and there are many mismatch price mismatch opportunities the only thing is that the spread may not be this much you know but if you have capital you you can do it small in small uh, irrespective of the 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 spread but multiple times so basically the steps involved after you have found an opportunity is simple you buy the token in this case us ust on bsc now he has featured a particular dex here that seems to have the best rates so i'll explore this dex later on now after you buy the token let's say you bought ust on the BSC chain you have to bridge it to polygon using this there are many other bridges too but this is the bridge you recommend you can use any bridge then you sell the token on the polygon market for USDC and if you want to bridge your USDC back to BSC you use multi-chain now once you've got USDC it's not compulsory you bridge it back to USD to BSC you can send it to a decentralized exchange uh, and stuff like that so okay let's go down so pre-trade checklist important tips watch how long the price mismatch lasts send yeah so this is very important he has mentioned it so you need to send a test trade to get the process down you know check do a test trade on either chain to make sure you can sell and that functionality is uh, is not working normally see if you can complete the entire transfer at a competitive rate and time timeliness is important sometimes the opportunity elapses very quickly on the dexes so then there should be enough volume per day to be worth your time example trade here are some example of both winning and losing trades so He's highlighting as well that he had some losing trades. Uh, yes, and you see the size of his capital is quite substantial. So net profit from this escapade was two hundred and twelve dollars. <laughs> okay. Uh, now s this is something to look at I know it existed but I've not had the health and strength to be able to do so so maybe if you want to join hands in doing it the research part you can contact me here bonus material you can identify price mismatch with coin gecko across multiple centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges best to compare the live price by going to the actual centralized exchange and compare to dex prices and dex screener dex trade goes like this swap on dex deposit swap on centralized exchange withdraw to dex so that's very simple workflow but this will work for mostly uh, popular tokens that are listed on centralized exchanges so this is what is being referenced uh the slight price disparity amongst the centralized exchanges if you have large capital you can take advantage of this for example kraken versus this 
you know there is a small uh, gain there but you can do it consistently and safe more safely so here you don't need 200 IQ to arbitrage profitably you need to learn the basics identify opportunities calculate spread execute trades bonus tip vo volume and volatility are your friend without this the spreads and trading opportunities won't be worth your time so very simple thread uh, did he make I can automate this and I'll be rich yes this already exists many people are doing that consistently the wheels do that consistently so and uh, there is there are already there are such bots in existence or so even open source you just need to be careful about them but this person looks like a programmer might if I recommend use an arbitrage scan to find the latest arbitrage opportunities like real-time arbitrage, hot tokens and hot LPs while avoiding being attacked by front-running attackers. Named one of the fo underfollowed MEV accounts by... I'll look at this. There may be tools to enhance this, but if you are not a programmer and can't identify the authenticity of tools, better to do it manually. Although tools will give you an edge when it comes to timeliness and you don't have to sit there, you know, the bots can identify this MEV opportunities. Uh, some people didn't know that there is MEV opportunities on Solana, for example. Now, go through the comments as well. There are tangible comments here. okay so i'll end this video now this is a tangible tweet uh, go and encourage uh this user by following as well as retweeting and all that let's end this video now if you are not building your project it's time to do so this uh video will cover it also provide you an opportunity for creating the project there are no tools out there that makes these things easy for the regular user so if you're a pro programmer this is an industry to undertake even just a visualizer tool that is in depth will s and is dedicated to arbitrage opportunities cross chain or dex to uh, uh, same chain etc that's a good opportunity if you are struggling to build your projects contact me Share this video, subscribe to Uluggers TV, stay awesome. Have you heard of the cryptocurrency notebook? The very first notebook in existence is about cryptocurrency and money's uselessness. And you can get a copy on Amazon. The link is in the description or you can search on Amazon by typing cryptocurrencies and more money's uselessness according to a legitimate literate. Yes, it's the very first notebook in existence. It will empower you with the unconventional information about cryptocurrency and blockchain that is not of the books that you cannot find across the entire web. Get your copy today. Paperback, I'd recommend that.